Grants is a community-driven project focused on creating an intuitive genealogy program suitable for hobbyists while ensuring it offers comprehensive features for professional genealogists. This project is initiated, developed, and overseen by genealogy enthusiasts. The produced software is freely available to users of Linux, Windows, macOS, and BSD systems. Version 5.1.6 was released in June of 2023. The Grants development team members are collectively accountable for the integrity of its features and trustworthiness of its downloadable software distribution kits. As a community-driven project, Grants source codes and the released software versions are being created and curated on GitHub. GitHub is a web-based platform and service that provides a centralized location for developers to host, collaborate on, and manage their software projects. It's also a repository of released software versions for user download. This tutorial shows you how to download Gramps from the internet using Microsoft Edge web browser. You can then install it on an Intel-based computer running Microsoft Windows. And, optionally uninstall it should you no longer want to have Gramps on that system. Let's get started. First, navigate to the website gramps-project.org. This is where you can also find other resources about Gramps. Click on the link Download at the upper right-hand corner of the web browser window. It brings you to a more detailed web page listing available Gramps software releases for Linux, Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, and BSD systems. All are available for download and use at no cost. Click on the link MS Windows in the table of contents to go directly to the section of downloadable Gramps software installers for Windows. There is a choice of 64-bit or 32-bit software installer. Which one should you download? If Gramps is to be installed on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 system, download the 64-bit software installer. Otherwise, download both. We'll show you which one to use for installing Gramps on an older Windows 7 or Windows 8 system. Now, let's continue with the Gramps software download. Microsoft Edge blocks internet downloads that it considers unsafe. In this instance, the Gramps software installer is downloaded from GitHub and can be trusted. Accordingly, we're instructing Microsoft Edge to keep it. Next, click on the link Open File to start installation of Gramps on a Microsoft Windows 10 system. The system cautions its user further when a potentially unsafe internet download is being run for the first time. Since the Gramps software installer can be trusted, click on the button Run Anyway to continue. Click on the button Yes to allow Gramps software installer to make changes to the running Windows 10 system. Start the installation by clicking on the button Next. Click on the button I agree to accept the terms of the software license. Choose how Gramps is to be installed and click on the button Next. Accept the Gramps default features by clicking on the button Next and then on the button Install. Installation will take approximately 2 minutes to complete. When it does, click on the button Next. If you choose to also run Gramps before clicking on the button Finish, it'll take approximately 1 minute to configure itself the first time after installation. Gramps is now ready to accept and organize your genealogical information. Microsoft released older Windows 8 and Windows 7 in both 32-bit and 64-bit editions. A 32-bit Windows system will reject an attempt to run 64-bit Gramps software installer. Should that be the case, delete it and keep the 32-bit Gramps software installer. Then proceed to install Gramps as it was shown earlier in this tutorial. To remove Gramps from a Windows 10 system, click Start at the lower left corner of the desktop screen. Navigate to the Gramps icon on the Start menu and right-click it to bring up a pop-up menu. Clicking on the Uninstall menu item brings up the Programs and Features control panel where Gramps is listed among other apps. Right-click it to bring up a pop-up menu. 
Select the Uninstall Change option to declare the intention. Windows asks for a confirmation that this change to the system is intentional. Click Yes to confirm. Next, click Uninstall to start the actual removal of Gramps. During the removal, you may click on the button Show Details to watch the verbose progress display. It may take as long as one minute to conclude the process. Once it completes, click on the button Close. Gramps is no longer listed among other apps in the Programs and Features Control Panel, nor does it show up on the Desktop Start menu.